you'd say I, I have skin in the game. Um, I have a vested interest in keeping my community safe and uh, keeping our schools safe. A topic many people have placed under a microscope, especially after the Uvalde school shooting. Here at home, that's no different. At Bryan ISD, one man looking to take over a position and face security head on after years dedicated to law enforcement. Starting as the new assistant director of safety and security for the Bryan School District. It's a job many people are closely studying. They're the next generation. We need to protect them. They need to be safe. They need to feel safe. And their parents need to feel safe when they're dropping them off at the bus stop or at the, at the school. Guys, be careful. He might be in that building. Oh, shots fired. Get inside. I'm sure they were scared. Shots fired inside the building, Uvalde. Safety not even a question in the small town of Uvalde. It was so devastating. Before the unthinkable happened. As a law enforcement officer, I'm devastated when something like that happens. 27 years in the force. This position really is what I've prepared for in my career. A career that's far from over. Wasn't ready for a rocking chair just yet. Bringing his skills to the schools. We have to prepare for it. We have to prevent it. Uh, and... Uh, and learn how to respond to it. Not only responding to those events, but... There are other threats that we have to be aware of. Like drugs entering districts. As a father, my biggest fear would be if someone would, would try and give one of those to my, you know, to my child. But Himmel says, no matter the situation... I am so looking forward to uh, immersing myself in, in this environment and becoming part of it and doing my part to make sure that our community's schools are safe. Get this, Himmel is from California. He tells me his new neighbor told him about the opening and immediately thought of him for the job. He's been at Bryan for a week now.